every day the Ramas change us. State the Rolle's theorem and verify the function f of x is equal to x minus a whole to the power of m into x minus b whole to the power of n where m comma n are positive integers in interval c comma b. Just we have to verify this one. So first you should know what is Rolle's theorem. Rolle's theorem say that f of x be any function in a closed interval c comma such that f of x is a continuous function in a comma in general this is a continuous function it will leave the second one is f of x is derivable in a comma so we have to check it out it is a derivable or not first then we will go to f of a is equal to f of b r if f of a is equal to f of b a small c belongs to keep in mind small c belongs to a comma b such that f dash c must be equal to 0 then Rolle's theorem verified and c must be lies between a comma, a comma b so can I start this is the definition there exists a point where x is equal to c in the a comma that is uh, such that a lies between c and uh, a lies sub c lies between a and b f dash c must be equal to 0 ok so take f of x can I take f of x so f of x is equal to some x minus a whole to the power of m yes into some x minus b whole to the power of o yeah and here given intervals so a comma b keep in mind a comma b here also we have intervals a comma b we have to find f dash x that means derivative of f of x we should write the um, b by dx of x minus r a whole to the power of m x minus b whole to the power of m ok so you have to apply b by dx of uv map this is equal to b into u dash plus uh, u into v dash that means u dash means what derivative of u v dash means what derivative of o, x minus b whole to the power of n so and also we are using the formula b by dx of x power n is equal to n into x to the power of n minus by taking uv method this is keep aside that means x minus b whole to the power of n is it clear or not? this one we have to derivate that there is an m into x to the power of this one x minus a whole to the power of m minus 1 1 is clear plus again you have to keep aside x minus a whole to the power of m and you have to derivate this one n into x minus b whole to the power of m minus 1 is it clear here and here we have common x minus uh, a to the power of m minus 1 because here we have x to the power of m yeah. here x minus b whole to the power of m minus 1 is common between these two terms because here you have x power m minus b by taking x power o, x minus a whole to the power of m minus 1 here this is goes out and here we have only m not only this at a time you have to take out uh, x minus b whole to the power of n minus 1 also. if both the terms are taken out then we get here here x minus b will come into, an, into m. what is there? m yeah. you see here yeah. m that is m right yes. m in this clear plus next x minus b whole to the power of n minus 1 already goes out then we have only n into x minus a very good x minus a that's all no when we multiply with this one this one is multiplied with this one we get what we have to get x minus a whole to the power of n minus 1 into x minus a right this is nothing but what x minus a whole to the power of n minus 1 here what you have plus 1 these two get cancelled again we get x minus a this is m r okay, we have to write m right here m here m do we understand our point? 
then we get x minus a only when we multiply with this one and this one and this one with this one we get this one only when you multiply with this one with this one we get this one only is it clear or not yes yes clear x minus a whole to the power of m minus 1 is multiplied by x minus a we get this one see here some a to the power of m into a to the power of n is equal to what a to the power of m plus n or not so m minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 get cancelled we get x minus a whole to the power of m only na Ah, is it clear or not? Oh, now here, right? So f dash x is equal to that, that is my f dash x is equal to. If I multiply it with this one, I would like to do it here and directly write it on there. So x minus x into a, is it done? So x into m, sorry, x into m. Minus m b, right? The next one is what? N into x. N into x, okay. Minus. Minus n a, right? Here and here, what do you have common? X. Right. Can I write x plus n? Yes. Sorry, m plus n, m plus n into x. Here and here, what do you have common? Nothing no. common. But we have minus common. So m b plus n a. Can I write down in place of this? Now write it down. Here uh, x minus a whole to the power what is there? m minus 1 into x minus b into whole to the power m minus 1 into what do you have? x plus uh, sorry m plus n yeah, yeah. m plus n into x into x minus minus of m b m b plus uh, m a So now the first part is finished. It is derivable, given function is derivable. Now we have to see f of a is equal to f of b or not. So first we have to take f of a because my interval is in a comma b only. So in place of x I would like to take a. Then we get a minus a. A minus a whole to the power of m into a minus b whole to the power of m. This is nothing but uh, this is m. Sorry. So a minus a is 0. 0 into something 0. Similarly, f of b is equal to uh, b minus a whole to the power of m into b minus b whole to the power of m. This is also equal to 0 because b minus b is equal to 0. It's clear. So, very simple. Uh, f of b is equal to f of b. This one is uh, verified. No doubt data, some c must be lies between a gamma b. Therefore, I would like to take f dash c is must be equal to 0. So, f of f dash c means here comes c, here comes c, here comes c, right? And here also gets c, right? Can I write it down? So, f dash c is equal to, I uh, want to write c minus a whole to the power of m minus 1 into c minus b whole to the power of m minus 1 into m plus n into c. In place of x we get c minus uh, of m b plus uh, m a must be equal to 0. So this and this and this are uh, must be equal to 0. But these two are not considered here but I will try to consider this one only. Why? Because m plus m into c minus of m b plus m a must be equal to 0. Then m plus m into c is equal to m b plus m a. The c is equal to m b plus m a by m plus a. Yes. No doubt beta, this is lies between a gamma and b. By taking any real value. And m comma n are in the positive result. You check it out. No doubt beta, this must be lies between a and b. This must be lies between a and b. Hence, rules theorem verifies. Is it clear?